We're making curry to eat with chutney. Mixing the cloves and curds. This is Ben and this is Finley. And in this video, we're going to make chicken Morgan Josh curry and peel our rice too. Have you washed your hands, Ben? Yep. Have you, Finley? Yep. Brilliant. Hope you have at home too. Let's get started. So, what equipment do we need then, Finley? Saucepan. Yep. Colander. Yes. Brater. Yep. Measuring jug. That's right. Weighing scale. Chopping board. Yep. Measuring spoons and measuring cups. That's right. We've also got some sharp knives, cutlery forks, cutlery knives, a teaspoon, and some wooden spoons. Ben, what ingredients do we need for this Rogan Josh curry? Sunflower spread, some garlic, some ginger, a an onion, some canned chopped tomato, some rice, some sunflower oil, a pepper, tomato puree, and some chicken breasts. Are you ready to start cooking? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. We've washed our pepper, so we're ready to go. Finley, I'm going to get you to prepare the pepper for me. If you can use the big knife, chop off the bottom. We're going to make it nice and secure so it stops the pepper from rocking and rolling on the board. So if you can do that, if you hold it into a claw, that's perfect. Take off that bottom edge. Can you see Ben, how he's using his fingers? He's holding them nice and tight. It stops his fingers from getting caught on the knife. And then turn it over up on its side and then we're going to use our claw again to take off the edges so we're going to cut all the way down missing out the seeds in the middle it's a really good little trick to help you keep everything in the middle contained and making very little mess at the same time keep turning it round quarter turn and we take another edge off when we finish cutting it we're going to discard any of the inside pith and the seeds and pop those in the bin perfect thanks Finn so we're just going to Pull this out. All you have to do is use your fingers and tap it out. In the meantime, Ben, can you give this garlic a really good smash and a bash so we can get the cloves out of the garlic bulb? Can you pull it apart? We just need a couple to keep us going. Let's pull this out. Can you peel it for me? We're going to use just one clove today. So if you can just cut the top, I'll show you. So I've just cut that one. Do you want to do it as well? So keep your fingers straight like this. Can you keep them together? That's it. And then we're going to steady the piece of garlic. Come back a little bit because we don't want to catch them. Perfect. And then use our knife on the other end just to snip off the end. You'll be able to help in the kitchen at home when you've done this, won't you? How are you doing? Yep. Brilliant. Do you want to pop all the bits underneath for me then, Finn? That'd be great. Move them out of the way. And then we're just going to strip our garlic and take all the skin off that we don't need for later. And there we have our skinned garlic. We need to chop the pepper into smaller pieces. So Finn, I'm going to get you to chop these using your claw into strips, if that's all right. Yep. That'd be great. And then when they're in strips, can we chop them into little cubes afterwards? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to show Ben how to fork secure the garlic now. So we're using our fork and using the root of your garlic. We're just going to give it a little stab like that. And then we're going to use the tip of our knife and we're going to cut up just up until the prongs because we want to keep this root bit intact. Stops it from going everywhere and it holds the piece of garlic together so it's easier to chop. There we go, look, can you see the little slices I'm doing? Yep. And then when we've chopped it all, then we can go back this way and we've chopped ourselves a finely diced garlic. Look at that. Do you want to have a go? Okay. Go for it. So put it in that way at the very tip. I'll let you do it. Hold the garlic in place. Nice thin little lines. Hey, that's a great job, Finley. Well done. Thank you. So if you want to keep chopping them, Ben, that'd be great. Good work, Ben. That's fab. Do you want to chop some pepper? If you can do that, just make them into little pieces, little cubes, look. In the meantime, I'm going to peel the ginger. Now, ginger is one of those really funny ones. If you were to peel it with a peeler, you might take quite a lot of flesh off and the same with a knife. So, top tip for today is to use a teaspoon because actually the ginger skin is incredibly soft and we're going to use it and brush it against. If it's easier just to take off the knobbly bits, do. You can chop it off and then work just around the straighter bits, flatter bits. So, whilst we're getting on with the chopping and peeling, why don't you press pause now? We'll see you in a minute. We're going to grate the ginger now. 
Finn, can you grate me the ginger on the small grates on your space on the chopping board, if that's this okay? One. No, we're going to flip it over. This one, this is the one that we need. So these are the small grates. We're just going to grate from top to bottom and top to bottom again, just keeping it one way down, not up and down, up and down, up and down, because otherwise we can catch our fingers. We don't want that, do we, Ben? No. No. So do you want me to start from here? Yep, brilliant. We're using just today about three centimetres of this ginger, so great just down to that point. Enough to hold on to the end. Whilst Finn's busy grating, I'm going to chop the onion ready. Ben, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use our bridge technique to cut through the middle, making this into two halves and securing the onion for the board later for chopping into something smaller. So, so we're going to take the ends off because we don't need those. I'm going to peel the onion. Peeling the onions really quick and quite easy actually. There we go, there's all the skins off that we don't need. We're going to use our bridge to slice through the onion and make them into small strips, keeping the root on at the bottom. This helps keep the onion together whilst we're chopping, it doesn't slip all over the board. And then we're going to cut back using our bear claw to make them into smaller pieces. The smaller movements you make back, on the smaller chops that you do, the finer the pieces of onion will be. Let's use that there. And the same with this one. So we're going to do our bridge. Can you smell that onion, Ben? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's strong again, isn't it? So there's our onion. Right, let's see what we've got. Finn, show me what ginger we have. Wow, that looks great. So there's the ginger and the pepper. Now we're going to chop the chicken. I'm going to show you how to do it. And there we go, we just open. Make sure we have a clean board. And we're going to make them into even slices so that they cook quickly and they're easy to eat as well. Nice even slices. You have to be really careful when handling raw meat. If you're cooking with very young children, it is best for the adult to do this part. Don't wash the chicken, remember, as well. They can splash germs around your kitchen. Cooking them will kill them, so don't worry. And when you finish chopping the chicken, make sure you've washed your hands again with hot soapy water. Also, make sure you wash the knife and the board as well. Whilst we chop the chicken, why don't you press pause now? We've got all our ingredients at the hob. Anytime you're using heat, make sure there's an adult nearby to help. Right, Finn, can you get me, let's get this started, and I'm going to get you to put a tablespoon of oil into the pan, if that's okay. There we go. And let's do that. Perfect, stop there. Pop, yep, pop it in. Brilliant. Put that on, and then can you add the onions as well? Just the onions? Just the onions. Brush those into it. There we go. And then give them a stir for me and coat them all in the oil, in the warm oil. Mm -hmm. ah! You get the wooden spoon and give it a stir. Hold on to the handle, don't forget. There we go. Brilliant. I'm just going to add now the rest of the vegetables into the pan whilst he's stirring. There we go. Can you see everything going in, Ben? He's just coating everything in the oil, getting it all nice and softened, ready for our chicken. This will take a couple of minutes, so do press pause now. I'm just giving Ben spices to put in whilst Finn's stirring. Finn, mind your arm. Teamwork. There we go. Turn the plate round so you can get them all in. Fabulous. It smells so nice. Does it? That's the chilli. We've just got the cinnamon to do. Brilliant. Thanks, Ben. There we go. I'll take that for you. So we're frying off the spices in the oil. It just takes the powderiness out and helps cook through a little bit before we add the chicken. Can you smell the spices, Ben and Finn? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Right, we're going to add the chicken. I'm going to do this. Can I grab the spoon from you, Finley? Thank you. We're just going to pop them in and get them to cook out and brown a little bit 
on all sides before we add the other ingredients. Wow, that smells amazing. There's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. All the more for eating later. You need to cook your chicken for about five minutes, stirring occasionally. Our chicken's gone from pink to white, which means that it's all been sealed around the outside of the meat. So we're going to add a tablespoon of the tomato puree. Ben, your turn. Give it a squeeze. Give a tablespoon of tomato puree into the pan. So there we go. Make sure that that gets cooked out too. And then, Finn, can you add the chopped tomatoes in for me? All of it? Yes, please. And then mix that all into it too. Fab. Thank you, Finn. So we have everything in the pan together. We need to let it simmer now. We're going to put it on the back hob, ready to do our pilau rice. We're ready to make the pilau rice. Ben, can you measure out 25 grams of the sunflower spread for me? Here, who's that? Okay. We have our cold saucepan ready on the weighing scales. Just a little trick, so then you're not using too much washing up. And then that's 16. We just need a little bit more. Keep going. Tip it in, and that should be round about 25. Knock it off. 24. I think that's close enough for today. Right, we're going to put this now on a medium heat to melt the margarine. Right, Finley, we need a cup of the rice if you could do that for me, that'd be great. We're going to add this to the heated margarine, pop it in. Brilliant, thank you, Finn. And then we're going to give this a stir. Go for it. Use the handle, don't forget. So now we've coated our rice with the melted margarine, we're going to add the fennel and the turmeric now. Boys, you'll really start to smell all those lovely spices cook out in just a second. Tell me when, you, when it hits you. Standard. Already? We're going to give that just a, a minute to cook out, so do press pause now. We're going to add the bay leaf, cardamom and the cloves. There we go, that's the rest of the spices all in. Now I'm going to add one and a half cups of boiling water. Mind out, Finn, I'm going to pop this in. There we go. So there's one cup. Listen to that bubble. Sounds great, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty much perfect. There we go. Can you just give that a stir, Ben, for me? All our ingredients are in the pilau rice, including the water. Whilst we're letting this simmer for 15 minutes, why don't you press pause now and we'll see you when it's all cooked. The curry's cooked for 30 minutes and the rice has been cooking for 15. We're ready to serve. Are you ready, boys? So there's our pilau rice. Can you see the colour, boys? Yeah. And our chicken curry. There we go. <gasps> Look at that! Can you smell it? Yeah. That's stewed down. Lovely. If you'd like to have a go at another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to at Eat Happy Project. Hashtag let's cook along. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.